Now we've uh, you've mentioned this a couple of times beforehand, and uh, anyway, this this will be the sort of like grievance airing portion, I suspect. But who did you prefer as a WWE talent relations head, Jim Ross or Johnny Ace? Uh, I'd rather work on the Jim Ross, you know, instead of working on the Law Nighters. Law Nighters, like I said, man, I, I cannot believe this man, man. He was. He was he he's one of the worst people on this planet. Him and Mark Arana were the worst. Mark Arana said to me one time, and Mark Arana is in charge of talent relations. He's the guy that give out legends deals. That's where you go through talent relation. Do you know that idiot walked? I asked him about my legends deal, and he said to me, like I didn't know, because he thought I didn't know. He says to me, You don't have one. I you're the guy to give them out. And you're going to ask me, do I have one? That's what he said to me. And But he thought I was just that dumb that I, because I played the dumb role. Because if you let them know, then they would have got me a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So that's, and so I just stayed, I just played the game. You know, I said, no, no, Mark, I, I don't have one. Then he had me call a couple of people up in uh, whoever he said, call somewhere in the office and they were supposed to take care. But I called this woman one time and that lady told me, Teddy Long, I'm sorry. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. So he never even called that person. So they never intend. They were supposed to give me that, but they never intended to. Where does um? Where do the issues with Johnny stem from then? Because I suspect you knew him from WCW times, right? I brother, I I was shocked to know how he felt about me because he'd always come up grinning and laughing and hey Teddy, uh, good to see you. Glad you could make come back. You know, make it back here and all that and you know and just. To find out, you know, that what he done to me for no reason, just because it because I say I've done my job. If I hadn't done my job, I wouldn't have been there. So you can't say it's that. But he called, he tried to get people to get to take my place. He brought in uh, this girl. I forget her name. Now, she came in Tiffany. I think she came in and was my assistant in ECW. Mm -hmm. And that girl came to me and told me, she says, Lord, I just brought me in to take your job, Teddy, because me and her got cool. And I tried to help her with her promos and stuff. I was nice to her. And so she came and told me that. She said, he brought me in here to take your job. He brought uh, Christopher Nowinski. He was another one. Uh, Palmer was the Palmer Cannon guy. Yeah, yeah. When he came, he brought him in to, to take my job. But nobody, there's no, there's only one Teddy Long. It's just that simple. So, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it was unreal, man, what that man did to me. D didn't you have a match with him once? Yeah, yeah, I had a match with him one time, and I went over in that match, so it was, you know, I guess he hated to do that, but, I mean, that's what Vince wanted. Did uh, any chance of potato or two flu? In that no, <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't that long. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, then. Uh, I'm going to ask one more thing about Johnny, and uh, I'm sure you'll know that last year he was released with uh, extreme prejudice, it seemed like that, from the company shortly before Vince would take his retirement in quote-unquote uh, quotations. Uh, with that being said, did Johnny have a reputation of sniffing around all the female talent and maybe putting some of them in compromising positions where they say, hey, you know, if you go out with me, uh, it uh, well, might I go well for I your career? Well, I've heard that, and... Uh... I, like I said, I've never really seen it outright. You know what I mean? I've never seen him really approach one of the girls like that, but I saw him in bars and stuff, and I saw when he get get to drinking a little bit how fresh he got with a lot of guys. I saw that in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. We was there, and he was in the bar, and I saw him after he was drinking, how he was flopping, you know, all over the girls, the girls that were in the bar. So I don't know that right offhand, but I certainly believe it. Yeah, so was, was it like hushed whispers at the time, or... Oh yeah, Sus suspicion well, basically. He used his power to to gain more than he was supposed to gain. Okay, he used his power for his own self too. 